Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark and today we're doing our thing again. So here is our thing, our thing. So today we have an elephant. It's fun. I've drawn an elephant before. I think it should be over here. And uh, let's well, do it again. But before we do, kindly like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell to get notified of all my latest uploads. And yeah, let's begin. Thank you very much for subscribing. Let's draw an elephant. Okay, so I found a reference on Unsplash, and here it is by someone called Glenn Carey, and I will be sure to include it in where in the ref in the link in the description. So what do we do today? I think I might want to approach it the same way I did yesterday, and maybe try and stylize the eyes a bit. Not sure how that will work but we'll see so we will let's use this as our border then fill it with this color well it's fine it's fine that's a channel motto so the border apparently left i don't know how that happened then let's just input this mama elephant and i think this is one of those laggy brushes let me look for a chalk yeah let's try this let's start with the mother currently we're just painting uh, shapes and colors so nothing much to say actually <laughs> we're a bit dark these are uh, types of folds up here lighter for the other bits so i'm just hitting my j and k keys which if you've been here for a while you know are my value toggles in Krita and if you haven't been here for a while welcome thank you for joining us and I hope you'll be here for a very 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 long time and if you haven't subscribed kindly consider doing so and once you've considered doing so subscribe you don't even need to consider oh wow wow you know what I did <laughs> painted on the background layer ah add a fill layer with this so for this layer I can erase if I want to. Yeah, let me lock this as well. I apologize if I make uh, weird sniffing sounds. I think I'm just a bit cold and I forgot to put on a jacket before hitting record and I don't really want to get up from my seat. So sorry, I think that's enough for that. And then we can probably do a layer just above with this plant. I'm looking at the angles. Is it not? Oh, okay. I see the problem. The problem is because of all this, do something like this. It's random splotches of paint or chalk today. Start with that uh, dark ish color and then we can do a bit of highlights with the tips of those leaves can some of these lighten some of that do you guys have any tips on drawing leaves because i think leaves are the hands of environments leaves and rocks let's just impression them like that they're not that important and then on this layer we can come and do our actual thing why we're here we're here for the baby elephant so looking at the angles the ear comes like this and does its thing over here and i think i'm just going to fill in this silhouette first and then the other ear is near the belly not really to scale this drawing i think we'll move some things around yeah we have to let me just i'll delete all of that mm, i think this bush should move first of all and then for the baby there should be i'm looking at the negative space this space here then the ear should come like this fill in that let me add in a shadow so i know where i am this is where the ear ends and the head begins the ear begins over here here over here and i think today i'll sketch over this so that we can i can really see what i'm doing and define those uh, actual shapes sometimes i wish uh, YouTube didn't have those uh, co copyright things. We can actually play some music while we do all these things. Some recognizable music. Because the music that you guys even uh, hear in my videos, I can't hear it because it's put in after. Most of the time I am drawing in silence. Well, apart from me speaking. Because I have to speak. Well, I don't really have to. But I enjoy speaking with you more than, surprisingly more than I like making time lapses. But should you ever see a time lapse on this channel, it either means on that day, I have, I forgot to record 
my self speaking or I was just really lazy or I was using a different application and not really sitting on my desk or at my desk on my desk I've never sat on my desk so some of this I like maybe if I shrink it oops shrink it a bit like so I can get better view what we have so I like this part so it's this part that I dislike so I have to erase some maybe let's just erase this ear and then you can have the back coming in like so and this ear coming in like this now we can do our pin brush and sort of start uh, marking in where some things are happening and i'm thinking of it still as my favorite shape the sphere and what helps sometimes and what i'm finding is helpful for me is not actually drawing the thing i'm not drawing an elephant i am drawing the shapes and in that way i can stop uh, overthinking or thinking about the animal or what i think the animal looks like so that's a baby elephant over there let's need more dark shapes yeah, to make this head pop out Just needs a bit of contrast let's mirror i like that shape then as we are finding out painting is just adding pigment in some areas and then removing it let me just color pick it from here need this sort of uh, curves in my drawing to make it look like a sphere all about spheres in this channel to erase some of this get some of the back back and then a bit of pigment oops a bit of pigment here to separate the head from the back a bit more pigment to, to make us see the curves happening i think i'll lighten this a bit more you can see that bump you can see this other bump and some of this let's indicate where the eye is there's a shadow shape going like so let me go really dark here maybe let's not let's leave that for a while let's do some stuff with the other uh, the larger shapes first and once we're done with that we can come in and do the noodling and we can color pick if we have to don't really have to but i want to and it's my channel and i can do whatever but seriously the the people who teach art like if you can avoid it avoid color picking from your reference from your painting it's okay but from your reference you might never learn about colors or something like that at least that's what they told me let's erase this because this isn't happening on the reference oh i just discovered something so normally i have to toggle the eraser on and off but i have seen that if i i mean erase mode and i color pick the brush changes to the brush it toggles from eraser mode back to the brush mode so i don't have to toggle erase on or tap on e again so that's fun it only took me 23 days to notice three whole weeks baby chicken has been born has been hatched the time it took me to learn that but it's fine i think should i ever do a uh, merch merchandise i have a shirt saying it's fine so this feels fun this carving in the shapes i like it i like it a lot more than sketching to be honest although sketching is important it's a really nice skill to have i'm still working on my sketches this feels so much fun like there's a lot more freedom i think most of it stems from the fact that with a pencil which is Kind of like just a very thin stiff brush a pencil is so that stiffness uh, and the thinness makes everything yeah mm -hmm. nami i don't know if you get it but it makes everything i don't know how to explain it erase this in the mirror that's fun let me save this looks nice looks nice okay, let me wear a hat maybe it will make me feel less cold and yes i do keep hats around my desk never know when you need a video and most of the time i am wearing a hat maybe that's why i'm cold because i'm not in my hat probably i think this guy's trunk is a bit small but i think it will work for what we have today so anyway have you guys been i like to tell you that the discord is now up i put a post uh my community with the link i also put the link in the description and i will be honest i'm not really much of a discord user i know how to use some of it some of those uh, features but 
and i've been like really into the moderation part of discord so if there are some things if you join the server thank you very much first of all and you're welcome I invite your friends they like art and art related things but i was saying there are some things i might not know and i need uh some of you guys to let me know so that will be a really big help in the whole making our server the best it can be but yes the discord is up and you can share your art if you've been drawing along there are some channels where you can share and don't be scared of sharing it's all good and i think because it's fairly new i'll be hanging out uh, in in the discord more often now because i've been part of other people's servers because they're usually so full it's hard to interact sometimes and we have a precious opportunity opportunity to, to interact with each other over there possibly make friends connections all that good stuff and build a community around art eventually i'd like to do a whole lot of other stuff in the discord some some monthly challenges and, and contests and stuff ideally when we're a big channel and notice i said when it's, it's happening it's about to happen so when that happens and when things like youtube and uh, my buy me a coffee are like functional making money I'd like to do some giveaways let me know if that's of any interest to you and i think now is the appropriate time to start working on the eyes and i want to make my eyes a bit bigger first of all well, let's just indicate the shape of what we have already and replicate that on this other side eyes are like my favorite thing to draw or paint and sometimes it works most of the time it tries to work but when it works oh does it work probably should zoom in but i'm also trying well i didn't know i was trying but i think i am subconsciously trying to learn not to zoom in so much i think some of that at art advice uh it's kind of sinking in like don't zoom in too much into your drawing so you don't get uh, uh hyper focused on one one part and forget the rest of course i want the whole thing to be readable that's the whole goal of any art piece that a person can tell what it is they're looking at from afar we make this a bit more blue bluish gray try to paint it like it's a very long tube because it is erase some of this uh, outside here that's too much erase this smooth that maybe zoom out instead of in see how it's looking that's what we have so far let's try and transform it maybe make it smaller push it up maybe extend this see how that looks a bit better probably need to extend the ear extend it a lot you know that african elephant ears look kind of like the map of africa now you do now we can color pick to our heart's content so we're done with most of most of the stuff done with and i'm also proud of myself today for not using the smudge tools too much just painting with this chalk brush which is a default in krita so if you download krita and if you're trying to do this it's possible for free we're almost at the realm of uh, tush, tertiary details which is refining everything that we see like every nook and cranny every wrinkle but let's save that for the i think we'll do that on its own layer much later i'm about to actually move on to a different layer and probably probably what work on this guy a bit more in detail or leave him alone for a bit and then we can maybe focus on a bit of the environment i'm seeing below the trunk the face is actually a bit wider let's do that make it a bit wider here as well just blend it with the brush itself then we can add in the shadow of the ear just a tiny bit color pick oh, it's too aggressive Come over here we need a little something for the rim the rim of the ear and then just reduce that because it's not that uh prominent we work on this silhouette of the mother see how that looks not bad and then the environment what do you want to do with the environment pretty sure because i am not an environment dude yet so anyone who has tips on environments kindly them in the chat or the comments because the boy needs help the boy needs a lot of help 
I get some of the concepts, but not everything is clicking yet. And sometimes it's really frustrating, but it is what it is. Maybe on a layer below that, you can try and do a little bit of stuff here. Wider brush, add in this sort of variations in the ground. Some places it's lighter and more orangey, or browny. Some places it's really light. Let's just do the light bits first. We can come in with some darkness and try and indicate some of these uh, bushes and grasses. Darker base and a lighter top. Reduce some of the size and with a yellowish color try and add in some grasses don't know if it will work but we'll try try and add in some stuff over here a bit under the guy a bit lighter here i think this is where the perspective things uh should come into play i really need to learn i really need to learn as we living in a world of rules Breaking us down when the are should let us be We belong to you and me I think I'm just going to be done with the environment for now Because, just because we're not about that life today Let me save this And what else can we do? We are, hmm, my elephant seems a bit stiff that's no biggie. It's fine, but I feel like I should maybe pause the video here, walk out of the room for five minutes, then come back. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So hold on. No, you don't even have to hold on. I'll be back. And to show that I have gone, I will be back in a sweater or a jacket. So hold on. Welcome to my reverse OnlyFans. Every hour, every 20 minutes, I put on a new item of clothing. So exciting. So I think what we have here, I like it. I think my elephant is a bit mm, chunkier. That's no problem because we can call it stylized. And so here we are. I feel like I need some shadows, contact shadows in the bottom of the feet and more shadow in this area. And maybe I'll make the eyes even bigger for that. And probably include a tiny character over here. So what I want to do is merge almost everything. And then have a layer on top so we can continue our illustration today. And add our details on top of everything. This might be risky or it might not. Who knows? Or instead of merging our group, duplicate that group. Ooh, that's nice. And then flatten this group. Hide this. Make a copy of that so we get the same effect. Merge those. And then on top of that, now we do our paint over. And I'm going to start with this guy. So first of all, I don't know what that is. I need to set up that palette. I'm going to make his eyes bigger. So let me see how that will work. So now this is becomes a game of making the brush bigger and smaller and bigger and smaller. We have the brow over here and maybe the lower extremity. What's this part called? Lower lid, a bit of that. Trying to remember perspective. And then what will happen if I make it like human-like, like cartoony and give him white people eyes? It's blue. It's kind of blue. It's too blue. Maybe something like this. We're still using our chalk brush. And give him a border on those eyes. I should probably zoom in. I don't really want to. I'm constraining myself to this view for reasons also unknown to me. Oh, by the way, if you're interested, this... Uh, currently we've been going for 40-ish minutes. And then add a pupil. On this side it should be something like that. It wide. Looks like he's cross-eyed. Let me select this and transform it to something like that. And probably I can try to move this trunk go into my pinks. It's fine. And open his mouth a bit. Okay, now I'll zoom in. Give him some lips. The lower jaw is a happy little man. He's excited about something. Probably, I don't know if elephants have eyebrows. Unlikely, but he is going to have some. Let's give him some features of a human. There's something like that. Nightmare fuel. Okay, let's do this eye justice. Just a bit more justice. Let's do this again. Bit of white. Bit of blue. Bit of border of the iris. Bit of... Pupil. And something make it 
sparkle. You have some eyes, maybe add a bit of wetness to the lips on the inside of the mouth a bit of border border the trunk probably for the legs i'm going to sharpen them a bit add the shadow we were talking about and then on top of that add these things because it's dark but not that dark don't know about the folds but we'll try anyway maybe let's do a separate layer i'm going to merge these and this is basically how i paint other stuff on really just one layer at a time when something is done i merge and do something else on a different layer then once that's done i merge yet again we have some reflections going on on this other toenail mini toe here without a nail and with a small 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 brush refine that first border and then of course there's uh something like this going on which most people won't even notice but because we're here let's just do it and then we have the folds of skin which will probably be the hardest thing to depict uh, convincingly but because we're here yet again let's let's just try and see what we get if it's good fine if it's not still fine we tried and i'm looking for a light color to do this for the knee i think this is and the dark color of course underneath the folds folds are really complex for me currently sometimes they work sometimes they don't I'm going to get them eventually so trying to remind myself we don't have to draw everything this is an illustration not a photograph add that so that we don't have a weirdly straight leg the problem with uh, merging things sometimes well, most of the time is when you're making adjustments you have to pick the color of the surrounding area uh, and make it work for you in different what am i saying sorry i was concentrating i'm saying like if you want to fix this area you have to pick this color and erase that but when you get here you have to pick this other color and it's repetitive like so so now technically i am kind of following the reference although we we have done our own thing especially with the eyes and the open mouth so some of these things are coming from my head which is honestly really surprising but i'm really thankful I'm painting things from my head because for the most part for most of my very short drawing career everything i've done has been sort of copying the reference uh, one to one not really changing anything i did try it and change some stuff with the uh, meerkat uh, thing we did i don't know if that was day three or four or five this challenge you can find that in the playlist that i have linked in the video description as well as somewhere on top of your screen so apart from that i haven't really explored imaginative drawing that much so this is this is fun this is really fun and let's add some of these wrinkles and then as soon as we add them we erase them or lightly paint over them so they're not too harsh i think there is a better way to do this you just haven't found it yet and then we paint some of these other wrinkles this time with a bigger brush size so we can come in and do this i think elephant babies are the wrinkliest babies of all the babies in the animal kingdom maybe rabbits i've never seen a baby rabbit they look uh look otherwise as my people would say they look otherwise look like hairless rats hairless blind rats so very helpless and sometimes they get eaten by their mother because their mother is really hungry or she knows instinctively they won't make it so whenever you see a rabbit knows that it wasn't eaten by its mom it could have been eaten by its mom but it wasn't and he or she is very lucky so we clean up some of this just by color picking changing some things add a few bumps on the underside make it a bit darker somehow especially in the foldy areas and then add a bit of bum if this is the bum or for the other leg and maybe make this ear a bit lighter so we have a bit of contrast between the back and the ear the smaller brush amplify that contrast then merge new layer maybe do a bit of these folds in the ears hopefully they turn out right just indicate the dark bits 
then come in with the light and indicate some of this some light on top of these folds not going i'm not going to do every every one i'll try and do as many as i can the eyes are still kind of creepy but i like them paint over that let's see how it looks from afar save this and are we going to give him a friend we may but it's been an hour already Ooh. Time. It's been an hour already and I feel like we should stop at some point because the video still needs to be edited and uploaded. Let me give this, no, can't even give it a flipping layer because everything is merged. So just going to do a layer on top with multiply, add a bit of shadows in some places. We're going to ignore his mother altogether completely she's not important today we thank her for giving birth to this cutie pie but that's it for you today we don't need you right now in this illustration of ours merge that and probably probably let's see what we can do let me zoom in and lay on top give him a toy toy penguin yeah and that's basically it oh what's happening oh okay i'm sorry let's start there let's give this toy some shadow or light let's give him some light let's assume he's reflecting some of the sky as well as no probably as well as some of this dirt and then i will decrease the opacity as well as erase uh, lightly most of this and then i will group not group merge all these together and let's see what will happen if we play with the hue filters everything a bit more vibrant and that shall we play with the color balance no want levels yes let's see what happens when we play with these kind of like that and then let's add a uh, posterize i liked posterize the other time we can increase this or decrease it yeah and we have our illustration of the day save and complete because you're on my reverse only fans we had a hat yeah so that's it for our drawing today let me just zoom in to fit in or fit it on the screen fit view that's our illustration of the day i hope you enjoyed it if you like the video like the video subscribe if you haven't already and we'll do this again eight other times we have nine pieces of paper here and the blank thing is inevitable at this moment so this is the last time i'm asking for your input on the blank piece of paper if you yeah yeah whatever so here's our thing hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next video have a great day two thumbs up bye bye